Coming up next, it's a lightweight championship fight between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Tony Ferguson. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. As he steps towards his cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. Well, in a division as talented as 155 pounds, it is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, he'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight, Vakes. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Ferguson is four years the elder. He will have a six-inch reach advantage. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing Prince. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter with a professional record of 26 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, presenting the challenger, Tony El Kukui Ferguson. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler with a professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down right now. Well, it is a venue that has hosted some of the biggest fights in combat sports history, and we are back for more, ready to go with live action, underway here at the MGM Grand Golden Arena in Las Vegas. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Nurmagomedov. 
shoots in for the takedown. Oh, nicely done as he gets the takedown. And he's trying to pass. Very nice sweep winds up in his opponent's guard. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. Strong ground and pound here, Joe. Joe Rogan tried to go for the single leg, not there. Good shots by the champion. Oh, big shots. Nurmago Medov gets the double underhooks. Pummels out of double underhooks here. Oh, he's got... Oh, big knee! Ferguson out on his feet! Under two minutes to go in a back-and-forth first round here. He's just beating him up in the clinch here. Oh, oh that was a slam, Joe. Marco Medov gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Or catch a Darce. Look at this. Locks it into position. Turns towards his opponent. And he got free. That was close. He's got side control. Five seconds to go here in round one. He lands a big shot from the bottom. He transitions to the north-south. Oh, he's got a north-south choke here. It looks like he's got it locked in. Final seconds here. He got it out of that choke. The horn sounds for the end of round one. And here's a big slam. Nice technique. Let's take a look at that again. Beautiful submission attempt here, but right at the end, he slips out. Brittany Palmer is here as well. Just over three minutes to go in round two. All right, under three minutes now to go in round two.
Oh, he pumbles under Joe. Veteran savvy there. Now he's got the under. Oh, slice E. Oh, big left hook there. And stuffed. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. Posture's up here. And now into full guard. He's in full guard here. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by Nemago Meta. And busy as he looks to improve position here. And full back. He's flattened him out. Nemago Meta gets caught with that punch. Excellent movement here on the ground. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. Excellent punch. Ferguson's lower jaw could not look much worse, Joe. Extremely swollen at this point in time. We'll keep an eye on it as this fight moves forward. Trying to spin to the back. Uh, effective strike there by Nermago Medoff. Now he moves to his back. All right, round three coming up next. that submission. You're getting close, but you're giving up position. And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. And there's another excellent attempt at the submission, but can't quite finish it. Let's see it one more time. Ariane Celeste on hand. Championship fight. Man, I can watch this guy all day. He continues to land a high number of strikes just as he did in the previous round. And at least to my amateur eyeballs, Joe, he's not showing any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, shoots for the takedown, but he misses. Nice sprawl. El Kukui gets up and decides to take this fight back to its feet despite having a seemingly dominant position on the ground. Good defense there. Follows through with a power takedown. He's putting his hands down on the thighs. He's looking to pass. Oh, nice little elbow to the body. He doesn't discriminate. Oh, postures up and now goes with the big strike to the body. Well done there by Nermago Meta. Still working this ground and pound. Good punches. Ferguson's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Oh, Slayer And now he lands a combination. Under three minutes remain in round three. Eh, missed on that one, Joe. That's oh, a hard look. hook. Gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Posture's up. Oh, massive elbow lands. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nermago Meta. He's doing a great job of utilizing the ground and pound here. Really getting off some excellent shots. Posture's up here and now going to the body with that big strike. Nicely done by Nermago Medov. Still working his ground and pound. Good punches. Nermago Medov gets back up again. Nicely done. Oh, he is starting to put a lot more pressure on his opponent here, Joe. Oh, jumping knee. Oh, nice oh. one. He hurt him. The champ 
is rocked. He's in big trouble here. We could be seeing a new champion right now. Here we get a look at some of the action from that round. And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. And here it is from a different angle. Ariane Celeste doing her thing as usual. round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is underway, and now is where you really see what a fighter is made of, Joe Rogan. These championship rounds can certainly test the endurance. Both fighters have had their moments through 15 minutes. Who can dig deep and find the strength to get the finish here in these championship rounds? Just remarkable how... For this oh, he's, oh. he's gotta be careful here, he's in trouble. Pretty decent clip. Oh, this could be it right here. Man has his chin been tested early. Oh! Big knee to the body! Oh, oh nice big knee! knee. show signs of swelling. He got tagged there. Ooh, Ooh. big elbow. Man! Effective punch there by Nermago Metal. Nice shot to the head. north-south. Man, the submission attempts keep on coming. Going for a choke now. It looks like he's got that north-south choke locked in. He's out of the choke. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. And that's how you defend the double leg, ladies and gentlemen. Right, folks, some real power shots here. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, he got tagged again. He's hurt. Big body, body shot. shot there, too. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. Saved by the bell. That's the end of the round. You heard the horn, and it came just as he was stunned by a huge shot right before the end of the round. So... Saved by the bell. Back to the stool. 60 seconds with which to recover. We'll see if his corner can keep his head in the fight. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. This is the final round. We are down. We are losing this fight. I need you to go. 
Ariane Celeste in the building. Ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Effective punch there. Oh! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. He's got one here. Oh! He tagged him in the low. Oh! oh, he's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, just like that, the fight is oh. over. A huge barrage of strikes. He kept coming and finally landed one big bomb for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, a near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Here it is one more time. Boom! And he's out. So what a knockout from the UFC lightweight champion here tonight. Under the bright lights, he rises above the pressure and gets it done in a big way to be the UFC lightweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 17 seconds of round number five. Including the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion. So some UFC history tonight as we crown a new UFC champion.